Hi, I'm Brad from Monero Marine. Today I'm going to talk to you about osmosis on a boat. Osmosis is the process of water slowly permeating through the gel coat and reacting to the fiberglass, forming bubbles on the surface. This can happen in salt water or fresh water, but it's worse in fresh water because fresh water will permeate through the gel coat easier. To prevent osmosis, you need to create an impermeable surface. This can be done by applying multiple layers of epoxy over the gel coat. When the boat is built, you can use vinyl ester resin in the skin or first layer of the fiberglass layout. To a lesser degree, anti fallant paint will help. It's also quite recommended that you take your boat out of the water for the off season to allow the hull to dry out. Behind me, is a boat that has osmosis and we are going to repair it. The owner has been keeping the boat in the water year round for the past 10 years and it has never been bottom painted. He has been pressure washing the boat, the bottom, every three or four months. The blisters are now forming in mass quantities. We will repair the blisters, apply the epoxy and anti fallant and we'll show you the whole steps. So the first step to repair is to pressure wash the bottom to clean it so we can see the blisters better. Now this boat has blisters different than I've seen before. They're very tiny and there's thousands of them. I'm used to much larger like dime to a quarter size. If I put my uh, chisel in here, yeah, you can see them much better. There, there you go. So let's do some pressure washing. Okay, after pressure washing you can see thousands of little blisters opened up. That is a very slow process. I spoke to my dad about this and he says this boat would have been built with a skin layer layup of vinyl ester resin which is impermeable to the water. And this is why we're seeing such small blisters versus very large ones because it's just not getting through that uh, layup. So that's a good thing but we still have to deal with all these blisters. So I've never had a boat that's never been bottom painted and the owners just left the boat in the water for so long. Normally we see such large blisters. So now we're going to sand the bottom and go back to more pressure washing because that'll make the uh, gel coat layer a little thinner and should be easier to blast through them. We finished sanding the bottom, then we car wash it again. And now we're filling the blisters. We're using a 3M waterproof filler. And we've mixed it with vinyl ester resin, just a little bit, just to make it a little thinner and prolong the uh, working time. And that gets mixed with a cream hardener. So we have to fill t two times to, in order to get the uh, blisters filled properly. And then we're gonna sand it again. Filler has been applied, now we sand it off, flush. We finished the sanding, and now we have to apply the epoxy. 
this is the epoxy we're using. It's an Interlux Interprotect 2000E two-part epoxy. It's mixed at a 3 to 1 ratio. Uh, so this kit uh, mixed together will make 4 liters or 1 gallon. Comes in gray and white. We're using the gray. And the label even says for prevention and repair of asthmatic blistering. So we're going to put four coats on to get the adequate coverage that we need. Four coats of epoxy is complete. For anti-fouling we're using Micron CSC, CA, and we're using the black color. We generally have about nine hours to apply the Micron CSC over the epoxy and the warmer it gets the less time you have. Beyond that you're going to have to sand the surface. We finished the anti-fouling. Then we pull the tape off the water line. You should do that soon after you finish the painting, so it's not so hard. So if it cures too much, it gets harder and it sticks. We still have to move the pads and paint under there. Just make sure when you're painting the anti-fouling around there, you want to keep the paint back from the edge of the epoxy, so you don't have any overlap. You don't want any anti-fouling sandwich in between the epoxy coats. So that concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you read the labels on the paint cans so they probably forgot a few things. And don't forget to subscribe.